Hey everyone, Aria Labs here with a blog to watch. Today I'm going to review the Chrono Swiss Flying Regulator Open Gear Purple Haze. This is a very purple watch. It could have been a little bit more purple. My question that I asked Chrono Swiss was, okay, you've done the blue watch, uh, which we uh, talked about a couple of years ago and was very exciting when they did that, a blue dial and blue case. And now you have a couple of purple watches. What's up with the, the black strap? Why no purple strap? I guess they didn't have one, maybe they will. They have a blue strap that matches the blue versions of these watches. Um, but no purple. So the first thing that I think you should do if you get one of these purple haze watches is get a purple strap. Don't be purple shy. Uh, purple is one of those colors that I discussed as being amongst the next popular men's hues. It's not going to be as popular as blue, probably because you can't get away with wearing purple every single day, but it is a color that is coming into its masculinity in the modern sense. And I think that, um, you know, a lot of guys are going to have a purple watch in their collection. Um, will you go full purple? Uh, this 41 millimeter wide steel case has been given electroplating uh, in a purple hue. Uh, various types of hues are available. You mostly see this as, I guess what you could say is a blue color um, or maybe a black color. Um, and there are, again, there's a spectrum of colors that is available and purple is one of them. So it's actually surprising that I haven't seen a lot of purple watches up until now. As I said, there's identical versions to this watch in blue. And there's a similar watch as a slightly different dial rather than having this, what they call the open gear um, subsidiary seconds as part of the regulator style dial. There's also a retrograde seconds one that has the same uh, purple treatment. And if it's too purple for you, they have this watch, the same watch, purple dial. It's got that nice um, sort of guilloche style decoration on there and that multi-leveling. But rather than having the purple case, it has um, a black case, I believe, which again, is for the those that just feel that's too much purple in their life. For me, go all the way purple. 41 millimeters wide is the size of the case, which is actually smaller than some previous Chrono Swiss timepieces. But I think it makes sense given the fact that A, the onion style crown is pretty big and these lugs um, are definitely on the longer side. So the case isn't really that thick even, but I think that you'll see in a moment here that it wears definitely on the larger side. And you can see here that the purple um, coloring continued into the buckle as well, which I think was fantastic. So there you have 41 millimeters wide. Not, no, not the thinnest watch in the world, but I actually found this to be a great size and I think that it looks good. Um, I would definitely even wear a larger one just because I like that. But I think for a lot of people who are shy about these designs and feel like, oh, that's gonna be too big, they'll be surprised here. The movement is a base Swiss made um, automatic with a module on top, which offers this retrograde display. Um, and you know, they try to get fancy with it. Chrono Swiss has really taken the regulator style display as being a, a core part of their DNA. It's not on all their watches, but a lot of them. And that just means that the dial for the hours, minutes and seconds are separated um, in that way. There's loom on the dial. So it, it's actually nice to see um, in the dark. I'm gonna go ahead and move the hands there. People, people like that. It's a, a funny that I, you see people uh, pick up a watch and the first thing they do is start messing with the crown and adjusting it, which I guess makes sense. But the irony to me is what do they expect? Do they expect it to do something different? Um, and then sometimes they'll pick up watches broken. They'll discover like, aha, I discovered this watch is broken. Everyone's like, yeah, we, we knew it was broken. <laughs> anyway, so this was a this was a limited edition of 50 pieces. You can tell because it says right there on the dial. I believe by the time I'm doing this review, it was sold out. I don't think that was the case um, when I when I grabbed this watch, but there are other watches like it. And again, these watches tend to show up on the market. So um, if you're really into this, have no fret. One will show up. Retail price for the Chrono Swiss Flying Regulator Open Gear Purple Haze, 12,000 Swiss francs. And you can see more on a blog to watch. Thanks so much.